For two, for decades, R&B singer Melba Moore has been making top hits both in the recording studio and on stage. Moore is performing this weekend on our area, or I should say in our area, and she sat down earlier with our Byron Scott. Here's what they talked about. <laughs> And we're joined by Grammy nominee and Tony Award winner, Miss Melba Moore. Thank you once again for joining us. And you do indeed look fantastic. <laughs> you look marvelous, Byron. Thank, Thank you. you for having me again. Yes. Talk about how you've had a long career, many, many years. Talk about how it all got started. Well, it probably got started because I have it in my genes. My mm -hmm. natural father's, uh, his name is Teddy Hill. It was. He's passed away now. And uh, he was very well known for being a jazz saxophonist and drummer and had a a very popular band that a lot of jazz greats came through, like Dizzy Gillespie and uh, Miles Davis, a bunch of people. And my mother was a professional singer. Now, they did not marry, but they had me. Okay. So my, I, I've got it in my genes, but my mother married my now stepfather, who she, he's a keyboardist, a piano player. And um, he had a son and a daughter, and they made us all p take piano lessons. Later on, we had a couple more brothers. Big family. I went from like an only child and no family to uh, a, a big family mm -hmm. and music being the centerpiece of our lives. And I'm sure that's how it happened. My mother and father would rehearse their band in our living room mm -hmm. and they would take us to all the shows and of course uh, we all majored in music. So. Yeah, and, and you played piano for a while. I did, yeah. And, and when did you discover that you had this, this fantastic singing voice? Well, not until late. Um, I got my... Um, um, Bachelor of Arts degree in music education, mm -hmm. and I taught uh, public school music. And then I decided I, I just had to try to see if I could be a performer. I didn't know if I had the talent, but I knew I, I wanted to try. But uh, my, my first work was as a backup singer in studio work. But from that, I got my first Broadway show, which was Hair. And um, I wound up doing the female lead and replacing Diane Keaton. So I became the first black actress to replace a white actress in a lead role on Broadway. I didn't have a manager or an agent, but one of the girls in the show told me about auditions for Pearly, the musical that gave me a Tony Award, and that's how I got my start. So you have a lot of records out. Uh, everyone knows, knows who you are, and one of your biggest hits was, was Lean On Me. Do you think you could sing a, a few measures for us? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Now that was that was 1976. You had a that was the year you had like five top singles, isn't it? I don't remember all those details, okay. but fortunately, I still get a chance to, to perform all of those songs almost on a um, weekly or monthly basis. And somebody tells me what the date is, but I just remember the lyrics. Okay. <laughs> but what's what's new for you right now? What's what's going on? Well, Lots I have happening. A new CD. Mm -hmm. It's called Forever. M O O R E. And uh, one of the really hot singles from it is called It's My Time Again, which I think is very prophetic, which means it's my time again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm on a um, tour of my one-woman play called Still Standing, The Melba Moore Story. Of course, I'm uh, here in Bethesda, Maryland, on this coming Sunday to perform at 8 p.m., a uh, live concert. That's a nice club. Tell, tell us what, what we can expect to hear. Well, of course, all my classic songs, a mm -hmm. couple of songs from my new CD, Forevermore. Yeah. And... Um, it's going to be quite a variety because my career has been so varied. So I'll be doing Cole Porter, but I'll be doing uh, Kashif, who, by the way, just passed away. Mm -hmm. We should mention that. And I'll be doing uh, Paul Lawrence. Well, these are people who wrote the songs for me. I'll be doing McFadden and Whitehead, who wrote, who they didn't write it, but the reason why you stepped into my life is a hit. Okay. It's their okay. feel. And uh, just really all of my classic songs. So one more time, you're going to be this Sunday at the Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club, Wisconsin Avenue. It's a nice club. I've been there, and you obviously want people to, to I'm turn out. I'm going to tell them on 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 uh, camera that he's coming again Sunday, because <laughs> I'm giving him comps. <laughs> okay, so it's it's Sunday at, at eight o'clock. Eight p.m. Okay. A What's the more. address? Uh, the address. It's on Wisconsin Avenue in Bethesda. Yes. If anyone who's been in that area knows exactly okay. where it is. It's a nice venue. You'll have a great time. A little bit more. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.